Bandai sent me a broken figure and they said F off, we're not doing anything about it. I was excited for about one second when I got this in the mail today. I am really mad. I am actually very mad at Bandai right now. Not only was this guy, I think he was originally like 70, but it comes out to like for some reason 90. What? And then you can't bundle shipping. So if you get one or two, you have to pay shipping and tax on each one. Bandai really just shafts you there. I got this guy in the mail, and as you can see right away, his head is off the body. Look, sealed tape, sealed tape, sealed tape, not tampered with at all. Now, I don't know about you, but this isn't a Marvel Legend. This isn't a Mattel WWE. This is a premium, literally the website says premium Bandai. Premium. Is this how you ship? Pre and then also I, I contacted, try contacting Premium Bandai. I dare anyone here, go try to contact Premium Bandai. I, I'm, I got transferred three times already from robots. I will not go down without a fight. This is unacceptable. This is disgusting. And do not buy from them. Seriously, if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I would not be buying these. I'm very upset right now. So even though I am super mad, I will not take it out on the review. Not only we used to get stands, like it's just like we're getting less and less and less and you're charging more and more and more. It's, it's getting a little ridiculous. All right, I, I didn't want to start this off so negative. I'm actually excited. I love the character. Head burst through the plastic. Oof, there you go. He was stuck up in there. All right, so I got the figure out of the box. I'm gonna try to pop his neck back on and hopefully everything is okay. <sighs> okay. Now this is what I heard, very loose. All right, so what I'm noticing right away is the cheap plastic. This guy does not look premium. He's got very cheap plastic. There's no matte finish. And boy, I'm gonna compare him to some other uh, figure arts so you could see just what I'm talking about because this is not premium. Yeah, this is what I was worried about from, I saw some initial early p uh, pictures. Damn. Um, besides the paint and everything, the figure looks pretty cool. I mean, this is a crazy sculpt for Bandai to, you know, take on literally all new parts. I don't even know where they could reuse some of these parts. Um, okay. So articulation is interesting on the sleeves. Okay. So we're a little limited, but again, the sculpt is so damn weird that... I, I actually understand that you're not gonna be, oh, okay. So you do have bicep swivel in under the sleeve. You have the sleeve goes up like that and then you can move around the sleeve there. So it, they kind of broke apart the articulation a little bit. Double jointed elbows actually pretty decent compared to, you know, what you need, you can't even have it more. So it would, I think they would actually go a little bit more if you could push them a little bit more. Now his hands look very, 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 very tiny. Here you go. Here's a little, here's a standard Goku hand to compare it to. Ooh, it's almost double the size. That's interesting. So he is, he's very tiny. I, I actually remember Dr. Jiro being pretty tall. So, I don't know how this scales well. We're gonna take a look. I have the androids, we're gonna scale them later. So the articulation, you get a little bit of range of motion right there for the abs. The legs go up pretty high. I mean, he's not a fighter, right? He doesn't really fight much, so you don't really need crazy articulation on this guy, but he has it, which is nice. Uh, double jointed knees, they don't get much, but you can have him in a sitting pose and that's probably as much as you would want from him. Maybe in a doctor chair, a scientist, a mad scientist chair. Hey, I'm a mad scientist. Do you have my chair? Hey, you know what? Let him sit in this chair real quick. Hold on, let me see. Oh, his hair. His hair doesn't let him sit in the chair. You blew it, hair. So you have some nice ankle movement and then big toe joints. So just about what you expect from a standard um, Bandai figure. Now let's take a look at some of the 
face plates. It's just a kind of normal face. We have a one eye, small, one eye big with a smile under the mustache. I don't know if you can tell, but he's smiling under that mustache. I'm smiling under this mustache. Uh, that's cool. I like this very expressive, like, he could either be yelling like, ha ha ha, you're done. My androids are winning. Or what are you doing? Stop that. You know, when, uh, spoiler alert, the androids turn on him. Spoiler alert. Last but not least, he has a very menace, menacing, menacing. He's mincing garlic. Uh, menacing look to the side face. Now, I think he had his arms folded a bunch of times. If I'm not mistaken, I think every character in Dragon Ball Z folds their arms. It would have been nice maybe to get a f arm folding, but I could be completely wrong. Let me know in the comments below if I'm a fake fan poser. Yo, you're a poser. Meet me at the Wawa with Viva La Bam. A really, really cool accessory much needed is the skull. We have that robot translucent skull accessory. And then you could have him like holding his hat in his hand and stuff. Very nice, I like that. Endless possibilities. Another cool accessory is we get this uh, gun hand blast or is it his hand ripped off? I actually don't remember this, um, but it pegs on and I don't know what side it goes on so. But very cool, again, a little extra accessory so you can do different poses, different setups for your D12. I will be doing, I will be doing an Android Cell Saga setup in the D12. Look forward to that. Another really cool accessory is the Android remote. Uh, I think this is how he could shut them off, right? Damn, I, you, you don't realize how much you, you forget until you turn a camera on. I always get comments saying like, you don't know what you're talking about, blah, 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 all this stuff. First of all, make a YouTube channel, first of all. Then try to make a YouTube video. Try to remember all the things that you're trying to remember. Talk about the, make sure you remember everything to talk about the figure. It's, it's not easy. So if you, unless you are a YouTuber, like you do not understand. Everyone's like, oh, I could be a YouTuber. Talk to me in 10 years when you have 50,000 subs and let me know how easy it is to be a YouTuber. That's all I gotta say on that topic because I get a lot of comments, which are welcomed. Please roast me in the chat, always. Comments always help. Unless you are a YouTuber, you do not understand. When you turn on the camera, your brain forgets. I don't even know what my name is. Did I do an intro to the video? I don't know. For hand accessories, he has two kind of gripping hands. Now, I think that's a power sucker. Can he suck your power with those little hand jewels? Man, I gotta rewatch Dragon Ball Z. I'm currently watching One Piece right now, and One Piece is insane. I'm on like 400 or something. They just did the great battle. You know, Luffy's trying to save Ace. I think I hit like a hundred episodes in two days or something. I was, I've been, I was hooked. He has some open hands, like he's gonna do a blast. Again, I love that little red dot. It even has a little bit of a pearl essent paint. And then, and then he has slap hands. All right, so before we get into comparisons, he came with an extra Goku sweating face. You know, like when he has the disease and he sweat, the heart disease and he's sweating. Um, very cool. I did not know this was coming with the figure when I pre-ordered it. I don't even know if they promoted this. So that's a nice little extra, but it goes to that figure that is very ugly now i turned that uh super saiyan retail figure uh the super saiyan goku retail figure i turned it into a gohan for my tournament of power but his head pops on boom i have a whole review up on out i just this hair is so pointy it just cut me i literally just pushed this hair into my finger i'm bleeding now thank you bandai there you go if you ever want goku dying <laughs> having a little heart heart attack then this is for all you guys out there that are just hoping and anyone who that's on your uh, role play list there you go you have a goku beat or maybe this is also good for like say he's down in the fight and he's like i'm not giving up i, I think you could make this work actually it's not as bad it's not as bad as the original head is so i'm actually not i'm not too angry about that very good a little, little upgrade there. All right, now this is where it gets crazy because this figure is so damn tiny. Now, 
I remember people were complaining that the imperfect cell was a little bit too small, but boy, this guy is very, very tiny. Look at him next to Goku, imperfect cell. Uh, probably my favorite figure arts figure ever. Yeah, look at him. He's almost the same size as Vegeta. You know that is not good. All right, so this is the most important size comparison. If he doesn't like stand with his children, I don't know, does he call them their children? I don't know, that's like a very anime trope. But if he doesn't, if he doesn't scale well with these guys, then I don't know what you're doing, Bandai. I think he should be a tiny bit taller, especially with that hat. I, I do remember him being a taller guy in the anime, but I'm looking at this picture right now and I like it. I like it. He's at least taller than 17 and 18. This is my grail right here. This shelf to have real versions. Like this is the old version. This is a uh, third party and that's a bootleg. I would love to have real versions of these characters. Maybe a 3.0, please Bandai, please. So final thoughts. I like the figure. Uh, it has that cheap plastic. It, it needs a matte spray, in my opinion. It looks just cheap in hand. There are some good things about it. I'm not blown away. I do think nostalgia is blinding me because I am very happy to just own this figure, to have this guy. This saga was so important to me growing up. Imperfect Cell, Android Saga, Perfect Cell Saga. Those, that's like me. That's my Dragon Ball in a nutshell. I'm going to do some sort of diorama with all these guys together. I don't think it was worth the price that I paid. Maybe if you see one on sale, maybe, but that's the thing. It's not retail. So I'm going to give this one a don't pick up. Before we leave, make sure you guys are signing up to Macari using my code. Macari is a selling app like eBay. I'm not sponsored, but I do get a really nice referral. If you guys sign up using my code, we both get up to $50 in credit. So sign up to Macari. Links are in the description. Check out my Macari page i'm always selling stuff on there and i will see you guys in the next toy hunt bye shout out to all my channel members you guys are amazing if you'd like to become a channel member in the description is the link check it out